I think that's one of the most marvellous things. So my title was Death Reigns, but not Supreme. And you can't read through that genealogy in Genesis 5 without realising death reigned. Death reigned from Adam to Moses, says Paul. And you read this, and he died, and he died, and he died, and he died. And the people of God, the people of promise, they all die. But God has promised to overcome even death. That's the real problem with humanity, and that's the message right from the beginning. And so at the heart of this, we have uh, Enoch, who walked with God and was not. Uh, God took him. Um, and we have Lamech, who, who names his son Noah, which is an expression of hope and the promise that the promised seed will bring comfort. So the two characters at the heart of this, are uh, Enoch is looking up in faith, and Lamech is looking ahead with hope. Enoch uh, is walking with God's presence, and, uh, and, and Lamech is hoping in God's promise. Uh, and that's there right at the beginning. And that is, that's the way that overcomes mm. uh, the curse of death. Mm. And another very striking thing is that when you go to the New Testament, you go to Hebrews 11, a chapter about all the great saints of faith of the Old Testament, the two characters that stick out there are Moses and Abraham. And Moses saw him who was invisible which is why he could reject the, th the treasures of this world, the treasures of, uh, of Egypt. He saw him who was invisible. He walked with the invisible God in faith. And Abraham, we're told, looked to the future. He, he, he reckoned that God could even raise the dead. And he was looking uh, for not an earthly country, but a heavenly one. Looking forward in hope uh, and living in faith, uh, walking with God uh, and, and, and waiting on his promise. Same thing, same gospel from the beginning to the end. And all of it, is about the eternal. It's about the life that is beyond uh, the death of our bodies. It's about the life as God created it to be at the beginning, being recovered, nothing less than that. And that is the gospel. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the great things, is when you see right at the beginning of the Bible, right to the end of the Bible, the gospel is unchanging. The wonderful thing for us living in these last days is that we've got the accumulation uh, of so much mm -hmm. more, but we see that it's more of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not a different gospel. Mm. It's not even a sort of development of a gospel. Um, it's the same gospel, but we just we just have more and more and more and more of the light of it.